By the time you see this, America will have recorded 100,000 deaths as a result of the coronavirus. These are not just numbers. These are real people, each one of them with a name, a family, friends, colleagues, a reputation, a legacy. And what we're seeing from this president is hardly a sign of sorrow, hardly a sign of compassion, and certainly not one tear. What does take up his attention, his potential for re-election, that's what it's all about for him. Not our health, only his success. There is a study out from Columbia University that tells us that if this administration had advised the separation of people, space, by just one week early on, it could have now saved 36,000 lives. That's real failure. The big issue right now is for people to keep their distance and to wear masks. Masks have become a very important kind of protection. The president doesn't seem to buy into that. He doesn't want to appear wearing a mask in public. And the reason he cites is it would only satisfy the media, the press, and those are people he doesn't like and he doesn't want to please. That's his reason, he says, for not showing up in a mask. What kind of leadership is that? What kind of role model is that? What kind of foolishness is that? And so the challenges we face now is that communities are opening up at the president's encouragement. He certainly would like to see lots of people in malls and in businesses and back in the workplace and where people gather and even in churches. He's talking a lot about houses of worship. But there is a risk and the risk is to the people who will be going to vote this November. And they will be faced with a very serious decision, not surely about candidates, two candidates, Biden and Trump, but the words that are not on the ballot, but the issues that are really there our life and death. I'm Mark Lansman.